Hello everyone, this is Matt Parry from MPTC Tennis and Alfred Parry from the Alfred Parry Tennis Academy. It's a really, really wet day today, so we thought we would do a video on footwork on the short ball. We've had a couple of inboxes asking us to talk about how you should move effectively up to a short ball, so we'll do that in a minute, but obviously today Alfie can't work at his academy, so we're indoors, we're both dressed in our all black outfits and it's a big day because Alfie is going to attempt to show you his new walking. This may not go that well but he has started to walk haven't you buddy in the last couple of days? Uh, yeah, yeah. So he's going to possibly show you before we do the video his little walking. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh no, he's gone floppy. He's gone floppy. Hang on. Oh, oh, his body. Oh, no, no. It's not happening to... Oh, no. Oh, you can't quite see that. But take it from me, he's doing a little bit of walking. So, we'll crack on with the video on the short ball. Woo, walking, big time, muscle man. Poo, 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 really cute. Really cute. Right, let's tell Angie to mum. Okay, perfect. Really, really simple one, the, the movement to a short ball. So we've done lots and lots of work and loads of YouTube videos in the last couple of weeks on maintaining an athletic base. So two footsteps wider than your shoulders, all the weight through the back parts of your legs, so the big muscles, your glutes and your hamstring. And obviously when we talked about the maintaining a two-step rhythm or a double step on the balls that are close to you. This is a similar principle for if the ball drops shorter. And when it comes to movement to short balls, the unit turn is so fundamental. If you understand how to correctly turn, you are then in the correct place to hit a short ball. So what we never want to do on a short ball is move forward to it facing forwards and then try to turn at the last minute. We see so many club players do this. The ball drops short, they move forward and they end up shoveling. We've seen loads of shovel shots. So on the balls that are short enough that you can just maintain your base, you get a good unit turning, whether it's on a forehand or back on the unit turns, and then you are in the correct position to double step to the ball. Da -da -da -da. And it is that simple. However, when it comes to footwork for short balls, you have to practice it. You cannot just watch a video like this and then hope to, hope to implement it because it's a footwork pattern you don't know and it is not naturally done. So to recap again on the balls that are close to us, it is a simple unit turn on either side and then we maintain the base and we move in that position and we are then ready to play. And that's quite simple. The difficulty comes when you've got to get a short, short ball. So if something drops before the service line, a decent drop shot, a low slice, or a ball that someone's mishit, and you've actually then got to run. And this is really simple as well, but again, it needs practicing. So out of your split step, you have located the ball short on the court. You've then got to run. So it is a simple matter of running, but then what we have to do whilst we are running, so we'll be doing our normal run for this, then we have to start initiating our unit turn as we are running. So it's almost the same as from the baseline where we would unit turn and then double rhythm, but this time we're running. And as we run, we unit turn as we are running. We don't get there, try to stop unit turn, because we'll never do it. So what we have to do is we have to run, and as we are running normally, we unit turn as we arrive to the ball, and then we're in a perfect position to play the ball. How to practice this? Really, really simple. Shadow swings. I'm not the biggest fan of shadow swings in the world. However, this is the perfect time to do it. So you can stand in your garage, in your bedroom, in your back garden, if you don't have a court or on the court. And the simple starting position is practice your unit turn, practice your double steps down the court. And then once you are really comfortable with your unit turns on both sides, single handed, double or whatever shots you're playing, you then practice running forwards and doing that unit turn 
as you move. So again, on the backhand side, I would be running forwards and I'd be unit, unit turning as I wrap the ball and just do it over and over and over again until you feel confident with that footwork pattern. So I would say for footwork to short balls, the unit turn is the most important thing for this. If you have a good, solid unit turn and you understand that, then you can implement the footwork in the correct way. So go out, practice those shadow, sweat, those shadow movements and start to implement that in a game. And then we can stop seeing so much scooping.